iPhone 5 is a smartphone designed and marketed by Apple Inc. It is the 6th generation of the iPhone, succeeding the iPhone 4S and preceding the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C. Formerly unveil as a part of Paris event on September 12, 2012. It was released on September 21, 2012. The iPhone 5 is the first iPhone to be announced in September and second it turned for subsequent iPhone releases. The first iPhone to be completely developed under the guidance of Tim Cook and the last iPhone to be offered in Steve Jobs. And here's how the iPhone 5 comes out of the box. I got the civil version and it does seem beautiful and is a nice version between the first iPhone and the iPhone 4S. Interestingly, connecting the lightning cable powers up the phone. And the iPhone 5 is incredibly thin compared to the previous iPhone and also so like you will wonder if it is real phone or dummy. Apple requires an active SIM card for the device to be activated or else you will be stuck on in the lock screen. The iPhone 5 uses a smaller nano SIM card slot which is honestly a pain to deal with. But good news is we managed to cut down a micro, micro SIM into a nano SIM and got 3G working on the Vodafone network. Also, the iPhone 5 has the good and the bad. The good, the iPhone 5 adds everything you wanted in the, in the iPhone 4S for G LTE, a longer, larger screen, free turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and a faster AC processor. Plus, it is top to bottom, the design is sharp, slim, and feather light. The bad, Apple Maps feel unfinished and buggy. Sprint and Verizon models can use voice and data simultaneously. The smaller connector renders current accessories unusable without an adapter. There's no NFC and screen size pals in cooperation to Jum Jumbo Android models. You've read all the reasons the iPhone 5 is still a good buy, so should you get one? That really depends on what you want from your phone. The iPhone 5a is no longer a flagship, but if you look at it, it is an affordable mid-range op option, it outmatches much of the competition. So if money is tight or you don't need the extra specs and features of the iPhone 6s or iPhone 7 such as Apple Pay and 3D Touch, then you might as well get the iPhone 5s. Equally, if you want a compact headset, the iPhone 5S is one of the best choices around. It can quite match the iPhone SE, but it is a lot cheaper. It is also stylish, speedy, and feature pack. Plus, it is exceedingly available by Apple standards and has the latest version of iOS on board.